Let's work out problem number 26. By hand, find all real solutions in exact form for the following equation. Okay, so we have the square root of x plus 7 minus the square root of 2x, and that's equal to 1. So whenever you have an equation with two square roots, you want to start by solving for one of them. So in this case, we'll start by adding the square root of 2x to both sides. So plus square root 2x plus square root 2x. These cancel, so we get the square root of x plus 7, and that's equal to 1 plus the square root of 2x. Okay, now we will square both sides. The goal is to get rid of all the square roots. So we're going to square the left-hand side, and we're going to square the right-hand side. When you square the left-hand side, the square root goes away, so you get x plus 7. And when you square this side, you could take a shortcut, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it the long way. So one way to do this is to write it twice. So 1 plus square root 2x, 1 plus square root 2x. This will always work, okay, every time. Now we're going to expand this. We're going to distribute. So on the left-hand side, we still have x plus 7. So be really careful in this step, right? A very common mistake is people do this. They square the 1, and then they square, the, they square this piece, and they get that. That's super bad, right? You can't do that when there's a plus. Okay, when there's a plus or a minus here, when it's a binomial, when it's two terms, um, one way to do it is just write it twice and then distribute or FOIL. So to FOIL, we'll do 1 times 1, and then 1 times the square root of 2x, which is just the square root of 2x. Then we take the square root of 2x, and we multiply that times 1, so we get the square root of 2x. And then lastly, we do the square root of 2x times the square root of 2x, which is just 2x. So just FOIL or distribute. So the way I do it, it's basically FOIL, but I don't think of FOIL. I take the 1, and I multiply it by these two. Then I take the square root of 2x, and you again, multiply it by those two, and you get that result. So this is x plus 7 equals 1 plus, let's see, the square root of 2x plus the square root of 2x is 2 times the square root of 2x, right? Because you have one of them, you have another one of them, so you have two of them, and plus 2x. Getting there, we still have to get rid of this square root here. So what we'll do is we'll subtract 1, and we'll subtract 2x from both sides. So subtract 1, subtract 2x. x minus 2x is negative x, and then 7 minus 1 is 6. And here we get 2 square root 2x, because these cancel. All right, and then you could divide by 2, but if you do that, you're going to get a um, fraction. So maybe we'll just go ahead and square both sides again to eliminate the square root. So on the left-hand side, we have negative x plus 6 squared. So I'll go ahead and write it twice, negative x plus 6, negative x plus 6. Then over here, we square the 2, so we get 4, and it's times, so you square each piece. When you square the square root, you just get 2x, okay? So again, you have 2 square root 2x. So the way to square that is you square the 2, so it's 4, then you square this one so it gets rid of the square root, okay? Whenever it's a times, you square each piece, okay? If it's a plus or a minus between those, you have to write it twice. All right, let's uh, distribute. So negative x times x is x squared. And then this one times this one is going to give us negative 6x. The inside also gives us negative 6x. And the last is going to give us, looks like, 36. And this here, 4 times 2x, that's 8x. Okay, it's combined like terms. So x squared minus 12x plus 36, and that's equal to 8x. Now we have a quadratic equation, so we will set it equal to 0 and factor. So subtract 8x from both sides, minus 8x, minus 8x. These cancel, so we get x squared minus 20x plus 36, and that's all equal to 0. So we need two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to negative 20. So I don't know what those numbers are yet, <laughs> so I'll write this down and think about it. Let's see. So what multiplies um, to 36, right? 36 is, I guess, 4 times 9. Um, so let's, let's draw a little tree. So 36 is 4 times 9, and that's 2 times 2, and that's uh, 3 times 3. So let's see, how can we get 36? Uh, 12 times uh, 3 is 36. That works. 
4 times 9 is 36. Um, 2 times 18, that's a weird one, but that will also give us 36, right? Um, I think that'll work. Yeah, 2 and 18. Wow, pretty tricky. So 2 and 18. And, you know, sometimes it takes you a little bit to find these. Like, you notice it took me a little bit of thinking. I drew a little tree. I didn't really use it. And I just thought a little bit. And so, you know, usually if you think a little while, you'll be able to figure it out. So 2 and 18, and they have to add to negative 20. So they both have to be negative. Okay, they both have to be negative. So we get two possible answers. We get 2 and 18. So the thing is, whenever we have these equations with square roots, we're, we're supposed to check our answers, right? Because we might get answers that don't check. Okay, those are called extraneous solutions. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to rewrite the original problem. So it was square root x plus 7 minus square root 2x, and that's equal to 1. Let's start by checking 2. So when you check, you have to go back to the original. So plugging in a 2 for all the x's, so we would get 2 plus 7, which is 9, minus the square root of 2 times 2, which is 4, and that should be equal to 1. So again, 2 plus 7 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4, so this would be 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. Yes! So 2 is one of our answers. Okay, so we do have an answer. Now let's check 18. I don't know if it'll work. I've never actually done this problem. So let's check, check 18. I have a feeling it won't. That's my guess, but let's try it. Uh, 18 plus 7 minus the square root of 2 times 18. And that should be equal to 1. So 18 plus 7 is 25. Minus 2 times 18 is 36. And that should be equal to 1. So 5 minus 6 is equal to 1. No way, right? 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So no, fails. This one's no good. That's, that's called an extraneous solution, right? Extraneous solution. So the answer to this problem um, is to kind of a long problem. Um, so I hope it made sense. <laughs> that's it.